Today we're going to talk about brandishing, something that if you don't understand can get you in a lot of legal trouble. Brandishing is where you display a gun with the intent to scare someone or intimidate them. If I were to just simply be showing you a gun, even though I'm holding the gun and it's visible to everybody around me, that's not brandishing because I'm just showing it to you like saying, hey, you want to see my new gun? There's no intent to intimidate or frighten, scare anybody. That's not brandishing. Brandishing is a situation where you either draw your gun and point it, or you simply draw it, but the intent is to scare someone. Or you could even have a holstered gun on your hip, and you could point at it and say, get away from me, I've got this gun. Or you could put your hand on the gun. All of those are brandishing, because whether you're holding the gun or not holding it, if it's visible and your intent is to intimidate or frighten, that's brandishing. Now, brandishing is not always illegal, but it can be. You can brandish a gun if you could actually use it to shoot somebody. So in other words, if you were in absolute fear for your life or the lives of someone else, or you were afraid of grievous bodily harm, something that puts you in the hospital for weeks or whatever, broken bones, uh, I, I, you know, loss of vision, loss of hearing, anything along that matter, at that point you could draw a gun and shoot somebody to protect your life. You could also then draw and brandish if you didn't want to shoot. Uh, you can tell someone, back away or I'll shoot you. That would be legitimate because you, if you could shoot them, you can brandish uh, as a way of trying not to have to shoot them. However, brandishing is not required. If you're in a situation that's life and death, you don't have to brandish to warn somebody. You could literally draw and fire. You're under no obligation to give any kind of warning. But holding a gun in a manner meant to intimidate somebody or stop them from doing something is brandishing. So if, if somebody um, you felt uh, frightened of was was walking near you and you were afraid of attack, but nothing yet had happened, if you drew and brandished, then it, you're the person that's uh, broken the law here, not the other person, because they've done nothing. You've got no legitimate grounds to be brandishing. Think of it this way, too. Um, if you do have to brandish and you explain it to the police, or a prosecutor, or a jury, they've got to agree with you that, yes, in the situation you were in, if they were in that situation, they would have done the same thing you did. But if they look at you and say, that, I don't think you were under a real threat, I don't think your life was in danger, then you've got a problem. Basically, the average person would have to agree with you that you were justified in drawing that gun because you would have been justified in shooting the person, that the threat was there and was that dangerous that uh, it would have justified brandishing. Just being frightened doesn't count. You have to legitimately or reasonably believe that you're actually in, in mortal danger or danger of, of a grievous bodily injury. That belief has to be based in fact that somebody else would agree with if they were in the same situation as you. If you're unreasonably frightened about something, that doesn't count. It's got to be something that a person would say, yes, you are in danger, and therefore you are justified in brandishing or even discharging a firearm to prevent an attack. So 
keep in mind brandishing is something that you probably very rarely, if ever, have to do it when you carry a gun. But if you do, you've got to be in mortal danger when you do it, or you can be charged, or you could be shot. If you pull a gun on somebody unreasonably and frighten them with brandishing, and they aren't doing anything, they could then shoot you because you're the aggressor. You're the person that drew the gun on them. Now they're merely responding to a threat of which they had no part in, in starting. So be careful with brandishing. 